Time to get Monday drunk. Monday, Monday. Shoe in her mouth. Yeah, she, she got your Peloton shoe. <laughs> wow. You have to. I just heard you say like you're not allowed in there, but then I, I don't think you realize. Look at this dog. Look at this freaking dog. The door open. You don't get on the Peloton, oh, bitch. Dude, put her on the Peloton. That was the most incredible image I've ever seen of a dog so proudly trotting out of a room with a Peloton shoe. So proud. Wow. I, I mean, I was excited about it. She loves fitness. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Fitting this shoe in my mouth. Mm hmm That was really good, actually. <laughs> all right, so this is, <clears throat> wow, that is a weird flavor. Uh, this is Cashmere Hero IPA. Stormy notes of tangerine and candied orange. Cashmere Hero IPA from Revolution Brewing. And this bad boy is 7.0%. Did wow. I say that? Now you know. Uh, here's what it looks like if you pour it. Looks like beer. Most beers do. Wow, good bubbles. Uh, what do you think of this? I don't like it. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't think I like uh, tangerine much. I think that's probably the flavor that's getting me. I thought I did, but maybe I don't. <laughs> There's something off about it. Like it tastes really bitter. Maybe that's just like the rind of a tangerine. You're getting too fancy. Ah, I'm gonna be honest. The rind is the outside. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Today, uh, pivoting away from the beer, let's talk about hot sauces. We got uh, Wingstop Wings, as we did two weeks ago. Corey, what's our first one here today? First up, we've got Hot Sauce. That's just what it's called. <laughs> oh, here we go. Double Take Salsa Co. Yeah. Flavor first, heat second. This it just says hot sauce real big. Cilantro Avocado is the flavor. Made in Minnesota, though. Yeah. Minnesota. <laughs> that is funny. It's just like the biggest font possible on the bottle. Hot, hot sauce. sauce. Yeah, we know. Hot Sauce. Um, so yeah, um, I'm not normally a huge fan of cilantro, but we'll see. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. That's so much cilantro. Mm-hmm. Mm. See? Hmm. I am a fan of cilantro. And I like that. To me, it doesn't really seem like something that should be on a chicken wing. But I always feel like hot sauces in those bottles should always work on chicken wings. <laughs> Which, you know, that's not fair. They can be multifaceted. But that to me seems like something that should be on something else. I don't know what it is. It's interesting. When I see a bottle like this, mm -hmm. I don't generally think chicken wing. Mm -hmm. Because if I order chicken wings, mm -hmm. no one ever comes up and says, oh, you ordered the uh, mild chicken wings? Here's your chicken wings and here's your bottle to sauce them. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. The only time I see these bottles, I see them in two places. Mm -hmm. Diners for breakfast food, yeah, mm -hmm. and taco spots, yep, or burrito, taco burrito, same thing. Right, right. So I don't, I get what you're saying though. This is a, it's different for chicken, but I think this would be great on a taco. I and that's what I associate these bottles more with than anything. Yeah, I think like a burrito, quesadilla, tacos. Like if that was on a Mexican restaurant table, mm -hmm. I think that's where that works. Also, cilantro just in general is like a very like big herb used in Mexican food. Yeah, it's very true. All right, what's our second one? All right, next up. We've got Uncle Dougie's mm. Habanero Gold One Hit Hot Sauce. Four out of five on the heatometer. Mm, okay. And this guy cartoonishly kind of looks like, uh, <laughs> he looks like kind of the dad in um, whatever that sex education comedy TV show is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. This is one of the yellowiest sauces I've ever seen. Obviously turmeric's in it, but this is like taking it even to another level of yellow is glowing. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mmm, very mustard forward. You're right. Very mustardy. Wow. It markets itself to be good on hot dogs. We were talking about this. Hot sauces really never come out and they're just for like, oh, it's a spicy mustard hot sauce for hot dogs. Like you don't hear about that a lot. I think this would be great on a hot dog though. Mm -hmm. Or a hamburger. Me too. Palatine, Illinois. Oh wow. I've heard of that. I don't know where it is or nothing, but. That's where CCK is. Oh, no kidding? Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. You've been there. Indeed we have. Mm. Wow, that is like such an interesting sauce. I really do want to try that on a hot dog. Yeah, I bet that'd be really good on a hot dog. Wow. That wasn't bad on a chicken wing, though. Like, I was kind of like, oh, if it's mustard, that'd be weird. No, 
little mini corn dog. Yeah, oh my god, there. yeah, mini corn dog. It's got me sexually stimulated, I'll tell you that right now. It's funny how like if you go to like a, a bar, a pub, whatever, and you get like appetizers and you get mini corn dogs, that's more socially acceptable than the guy that orders the corn dog at a restaurant. Can you imagine, you know what I mean? Like, because they're mini, it's okay. But if you sat there with a sticked corn dog, yeah. you'd be weird as hell. Yeah. <laughs> that is so funny, like, mini ones are fine. Don't worry about that. All right. And our arch nemesis, the Trinidad Scorpion Pepper. This is Trinidad Shaka Sauce. Trinidad Shaka Sauce, blend number one. Crafted from the finest ingredients. It's got water vinegar, Trinidad Scorpion Peppers, and garlic. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This is a wet one. The heat cometh. I know. It's always like creeping. See, it's like, it's doing, oh, you bastard scorpion. Decent enough flavor, I guess. Yeah. It's heavy, that scorpion pepper has a unique flavor mm -hmm. that you taste right away. And it's not like it's a great flavor, it's not bad, it's just, it's, mm -hmm. it's flavor. Right. It does come in, that's that's like kind of what the scorpion pepper does for me mm -hmm. at least. It's like, oh hello, I'm still here. But that's pretty good, like for a vinegar based sauce. I don't mind that. I don't love it, I don't mind it. Yeah, that's, a, that's basically how I feel. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> See, the, and you swallow, and you're like, oh, it's still there. And like, <laughs> that's how I feel. All right, well, three sauces up, three down. Let's go ahead and uh, do a shout out before we pick our favorite. Merch out, merch out, merch out. Numbersexualcheese.com is our website. We love getting shout outs, getting, giving, giving shout outs to the people that buy up the website. If you want the fastest shout out possible, get the hot sauce subscription or the two bottle hot sauce subscription, one mild, one spicy. But if you buy anything at all, at some point, Hopefully, for the day we die, we will say your name in a damn video. Today, two names. And merch on number one goes Mr. Kit Lemon. Excellent dude, big fan of the show. We give him shout outs all the time because he's always supporting us. Yep. Also see him in the comments section quite often. He's an absolute gentleman. Uh, Kip got himself two bottles of Sixer sauce. We sent those to, oh, Livermore, California. Ooh, interesting okay. city. Okay, so, yeah. We appreciate you, Kip. Thanks for the support, bud. Scorpion pepper, you bitch. Just lingers, mm -hmm. son of a bitch. In merch, <clears throat> in merch shot number two, my little sister, Kendall Maxwell. Kendall lives down there in San Antonio, Texas. She's a part of the epic Maxwell family, uh, most of which support this show. Kendall works for the San Antonio Spurs, got a dope job, videographer, lover. Kendall, thank you so much for buying. Number six with cheese.com, hit the website, buy stuff, and thanks for supporting. Good mouth. All right, Corey, uh, moment of truth here. We're gonna pick our favorite sauce. That's a good way to kind of end the video traditionally. Uh, Eric McCluskey, drum roll please. Thank you, sir. On the count of three, pick your favorite sauce here today. Are you ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. I wasn't rushing to grab this because I don't think it's good enough to rush for. Okay, okay, okay. But it is the best out of these three. Yeah, this is definitely one where I'm excited because most of the hot sauces in my refrigerator are kind of all-purpose hot sauces, and we talk about this all the time. I love a sauce that's made for a specific thing, so I'm very excited to like, for barbecue, or for grilling, like to have this as something, so that's really nice. So I think that's the best one today. This one, go to hell. <laughs> Guys, if you have any hot sauces, if you have anything uh, you want to send to the show, this is the address. You can do that. We love accepting hot sauces. And we kind of linearly go through the sauces as we get them. And uh, we'll be back here tomorrow. Hard to talk uh, for a brand new video. So thank you so much for rocking with us five days a week. Sure. I'll have a drink. I don't like this beer. Yeah, it's not very good, is it? <laughs>